The National Secretary of the University of Lagos Alumni Association, Dr. Aaron Akinloe, has been disqualified from contesting, along with two others, on the ground that the Constitution says the post is meant for a self-employed alumnus. Well, this seems not to be in conformity with the Constitution, as the doc document says, preferably self-employed, which doesn't exclude someone who is gamefully employed. Now joining me is the studio to discuss this further is a concerned alumnus, Ola Idris. Good to have you on the news at this time. So just a while ago, the National Executive Council of the University of Lagos alumnus, you know, says it can't reverse the decision of the Electoral Committee of the Inilak uh, Alumni Association. So what happens now? Yeah, uh, thank you very much. Um, short a while ago, we were told that um, there's an emergency neck meeting. And um, they came up with a decision that um, the NEC cannot reverse the decision of the Electoral Committee that they constituted. That's OK. Well, we have too much respect for Dr. John Momo being our president. And we have, you know, he's a man of integrity. Uh, well, right now, we strongly believe that um, um, the national, the, the NEC could as well give a kind of extension. Since the reverse could not be made due to the misinterpretation of the Constitution. So we are appealing to the net body. But we strongly believe that uh, those that constitute the net are men of integrity, that strongly believe in openness and fair play. So we are appealing to them to kindly uh, extend, give an extension, probably postpone the election by a week to allow them look into the disqualification so that the appropriate um, things could be done. So probably if, I mean, they stand by a, by, by a week, like I rightly said, so that they can look at, there's a lot of anomalies in the disqualification. Mm. So we are appealing to them to extend by a week so that they can look into the anomalies. Talking about the anomalies in the disqualification, is there any specific area that the Constitution is faulty? Yes. Um, for example, there are several areas where the Constitution is faulty. Now, if you look at the National Secretary, for example, they said somebody contesting for the position of the National Secretary must have a proven record, a proven track record of good administration. But the area where we have problem is that um, preferably self-employed who can create time for proper supervision and control of the National Secretariat. If you look at the clause, the Constitution does not say that must, prefer, preferably must be self-employed. The difference between preferably must be self-employed and preferably self em, 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 preferably self-employed. That clause is really faulty. And of course, we have, I have personally consulted several uh, brilliant lawyers that told me that when they say preferably self-employed does not mean the other candidate should be disqualified. Mm. So like I said, we are appealing to the net to kindly extend the election by just a week to allow the electoral committee to look into the anomalies. All right, and uh, that, let's uh, hope that the best, hope for the best for the Alumni Association of Union Lag. Thank you very much, uh, Ola Idris, you. for your time on TVC News. Thank you very seven. much. Thank you.